<laughs> well, this fishing machine I have here works pretty well. Let's actually see what I got so far. There's some puffer fish, some cod, and... Huh? Great. wonder what could be in there. Let's see. Well, first I'll throw this in here. Might as well. Right, this crate. That's odd. Maybe it washed up from one of those sunken ships? Bow, arrow... Huh? Notebook. Journal notes? Smudge text. The journal further says... Adventure... Niece, she made with 15 mil when she's older, she's making some an adventurer. The journal say ancient land can be found at... Well, that's all messed up. Lingerer... Hobson... Bly? Wait, isn't that that... Kaylin woman's last name? Hobson Bly? Wonder if this belongs to one of her family members. I'll have to give it to her next time I see her. <laughs> Hello up there. Hi. Ah, I see you uh you have the crate. Yeah, you fished this up? Yeah, I was uh I've been kinda working on my little like fishing farm thing and I'm just sitting there, you know, just fishing away, trying to fish up whatever I can and that came up and it had a journal by a uh, Hobbs and Bly. You're Last name's Bly, so I'm assuming you know something about this? Yeah, Hobson was my uncle. I thought you said yeah. you were going on a holiday. That's kind of coincidental that your uncle's stuff would just wash up here. Well, I knew he was out this way when he disappeared. Wait, but I didn't think I'd find him. Your uncle dis- Wait, what? Yeah, he vanished a long time ago when I was little. Okay. Well, little, uh, I was a teenager. It's still quite a coincidence that you would actually come all this way when you were on your way to vacation. I didn't think there was a chance I'd find anything. Just came out this way for somewhere to be that was different, because I'd been everywhere else the other ways. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I found this, and it seems like if it belongs to you that maybe there's something he left behind. It mentioned in the journal about his niece... So that's why I also kind of figured. The journal further says that ancient ruins guarding a rare treasure can be found there. Best guess it may be vulnerable. Valuable. God, I need to see words better. <laughs> what kind of... Maybe I should get some glasses. Also, <laughs> it is raining, so you're kind of making that book even more sodden than it is. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Let's go in here. <laughs> What kind of adventurer would I be if I didn't follow this lead? I have left a message to my most trusted friend talking about where I plan on going. If I do not return, they shall give the message to my niece. She may only be 15 now, but when she is older, she has the makings of an adventurer. Based on my compass, we seem to be heading in the right direction. The journal started, stated the ancient land can be found at... Wow, it's all blurred out, can't read that. Here yeah, is hoping... The ocean. Yeah, here is hoping we reach there soon. It seems a storm is blowing on the horizon, and the men grow worried. That's the ship he was on as well. Hmm. 
I know there was like there's that and there was another thing in the crate, but it was just a m- bunch of mumbo jumbo, at least to me. <laughs> <laughs> you used to talk a lot about a gold monkey. Oh dear. But, I he never told me where. Well, I think you found it. <laughs> <laughs> He used to also think it was myth and he was chasing phantoms, not the flying type. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, uh, I mean, I've seen those <laughs> manifestations of everybody's nightmares, I swear. The following pages are from old journal I came across during my adventures. I copied the most important ones in regards to finding the treasure the journal spoke of. A summary and brief of the original journal. It was written by a person by the name of Carlton. They state in their journal about their explorations of the new land. The name is written... Okay. On this island, he discovered a strange building in the middle of a swamp. He goes on about this building and the surrounding area searches. As he continues his ramblings, they become more and more confused. He talks of getting easily lost. Well, we've experienced that. Yeah. Forgetting things and strange sounds in the night at some point. I fear he may have descended into madness. Before the journal ends, he left a short poem. At those I thought it to be the ravings of a madman, but upon further inspection, I realized it held important information that may lead me to the treasure. Problem is as follows. Extreme things happen here. Many things to fear. Out at night, I dare not go, lest I face my foe. Little gold shine in the night. Why, oh why must it be so bright? Great thing, great ideas I had when I came, of treasure and fame. The monster lies in wait. (laughs) And it's so far late. Quiet is the night, filling my mind with fright. Should I not see the day, to whom every reader, every reads this day away. Whomever reads this day away. I have taken the time to examine it further and it turns out the poem I can't read anymore. Hmm. It must have been damaged by the ocean. Yeah. So something special about that poem. Though to me it sounded like a bunch of mumbo jumbo. There's a location hidden in here. Oh? How so? Look at the poem. The first line, extreme. Okay. Look for the numbers that follow it. They're not letters, they're actual numbers. Oh. So there's an X coordinate, a Z coordinate, Y coordinate. Huh. So if we try to figure out writing these down, I bet we find some place your uncle's been. Yeah. In theory. In theory. The thing is, if he found it, would he have left anything there for me? That's the question. If he thinks I would have followed. Well, can't hurt to try. I mean, we found strange maps and journals before that have led us to strange things. True. <laughs> now, at this point, I'm wondering if everything's interconnected. Because what are the coincidences that all of us would be basically brought to this location at this period of time when we're technically all from different time periods? Something fishy's going on here. And I intend to figure out what. Me too. And if I find my uncle in the process, all the better. Or at least find out what happened to him. Yep. And if I happen to find this mysterious material that I'm supposed to be looking for, then... Good for my company, I guess, and good for me, because future technologies. My uncle's bow. Hmm. 
Well, we could try to decipher the journal if you'd like. I think that won't be hard. All right, let's write it down. So you said X. What do you? What numbers do we got? X. One one four. Nope, one 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 four. Okay. Nearly missed a one. Uh, y sixty two. Okay. And Z is one nine zero. Is there any indicators if any of these are plus or minus? I'm guessing the X is a plus and the Z is a minus. All right, so we're guessing that. Yes. All right. Um, maybe wait till it stops raining. My lab coat's getting drenched. <laughs> Some through, of these books. <laughs> through my armor, and the books are getting soaked even further. Yeah, also nighttime. <laughs> yeah, I might just sleep off the night. I have to figure out which way is which. So that way. And that way slightly. Okie dokie. It's actually directly that way. <laughs> Perfect. A very long way. <laughs> yeah, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, do you have a boat on you just in case? Cause um, at the yeah, end I, of left, the monkey. I left one by the gold monkey. Cool. Also, fair warning. Come across oh. any of my horses along the way. <laughs> yeah. Also, fair warning, the path is a little broken up ahead. Uh, when I was on my way over here, I had a couple run-ins, more like three, with three different creepers. <laughs> oh, no. In the same exact spot. <laughs> They've taken to liking me lately. And apparently it's switched now. <laughs> yeah, earlier on there was loads of them in one spot. Thankfully they were on the outside of my house fence. <laughs> yeah, you can oh, see look. where... Yep, this is where I had issues. <laughs> I was trying to repair it, but then a zombie and skeleton both showed up at the same time. So I was like, okay. <laughs> it looks like they blew up an entire tree. <laughs> Basically, I said there, like I said, there was three of them, so they, 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 they were, they did a number. I'm guessing there also used to be a slab somewhere to like step up. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably right there. Did it? Nope, I didn't end up picking it up on my way over. Yeah. Yeah, this will have to be repaired once the grass grows again. That's okay. I've got a shovel. If it's repaired by the time we get back, I can just do it. Gotcha. And bring another slab later on. Okay. Okay. Pac-Man's still there. <laughs> yeah. Any more footprints? footprints? Is still there. No. I haven't seen any well, in a while. Well, there's these two here. Last time I saw. There was one here and one in the forest. So there's the one, or one just outside the forest here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any more sins. Oh, uh, yes, there is. Oh, great. It's getting closer and closer to you. There's two more in there. Oh, gosh. Is there some... There's probably also... I'm betting if there's one that way, there's probably a couple going my way, too. How many monkeys are there? <laughs> Apparently, he keeps running back and forth. Where am I... Oh, my boat's this way. I think. Or where'd my boat go? Oh, there's one right by the gold monkey. Never mind. I guess I left one here earlier too. I haven't seen what any... happened to the one you just came in though. Mm, it's I like don't horses. Know. They multiply by my base. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, onward. I'm reckon it's probably past your base. 
Most likely if it's this far out. Like in the yeah. thousands and I'm at like 700 something. There's yeah, Paul still yep. there. Wonder if he ever figured out how to actually power that thing up. He said he was gonna do some research, but he still needs another star. Yeah. And those are not so easy to come by. No, good luck to him for that one, because <laughs> I have no chance. Ah, you dropped me. <laughs> how did you? These boats, I tell you, they're they're a bit uh they're a bit strange. They seem to kick passengers off. They don't like it when you move stuff in your uh in your pockets. <laughs> you ever notice that like how much like pocket space armor has <laughs> I know it's amazing isn't it <laughs> got all that room and we it comes can in handy when you go mining mm -hmm. and it feels like you're not carrying anything at all yep yeah, yeah my base is just right there so mm -hmm. Seem to be going in the right direction. Again, with the amazing floating nether portal. <laughs> Someday we should just climb up there and see what's up there. Yeah. See how far away from your portal we get. I mean, I've been out this way a few times, but then again, I mean, the land around here seems to always be shifting. I mean, we missed that giant door. Yeah. And things seem to become uncovered, recovered, constantly. Time to walk. Okie doke. Maybe boat just in case. Because <laughs> you never know. And there goes my lab coat again. <laughs> just when I dry it off. <laughs> my dry cleaning bill when I get back is going to be outrageous. <laughs> Well, they sent you out here with no help, so... Touche. The least they can do is pay for a new lab coat. <laughs> yep. Mm. All this rowing, all this walking and running around. Snow, sand, dirt, everything. <laughs> Mountain climbing. I'm a scientist. I was not made to do this. <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was raised to do this. <laughs> She's never did it. Yeah, most of the time in the future, it's kind of like, you know, some survival skill, but it's not like... Extreme amounts. At the very least, oops, I think I'm too far up. Looks like there's a cave over here. You're going to get wet again? Yep. Well, there's definitely something down there. Hello. Uh, uh -huh. I also hear a witch, which is not good. <laughs> <laughs> and a skelly. Oh dear. There we go. <laughs> Food, cobblestone, empty fish that was left. Oh, Captain's log. Oh? Should I expect a star date? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 39. 2015. My men and I have taken shelter in a small cave. In cave, there. The storm outside is brutal. One of my men has ventured out, but has yet to return. I am beginning to worry. The men seem to forget a great deal here. Just the other day, Gregory 
just the other day Gregory went out to hunt for some meat and got lost. We found him somewhere completely opposite to where he was. No recollection of how he got there. More and more they forget. I'll have to start writing things down in case I too fall victim. Once the rain stops, we shall set out and follow the coast once more. Maybe find a river inland. I think I saw one near a swamp. If I do find anything of interest, I will mark it in my call sign. Mark it with my call sign. So we may find the location again. Call sign? Yeah, inland. Yeah, I can hear. All the captains have a call sign in my era. Oh. Oh. Well then. Guess so if your uncle was here, I guess we'll find more of these around. Yep. Hmm. I wonder where this is gonna lead us. I wonder how this all connects to the gold monkey. Yeah. River Inland. I mean, there's a river going to the Gold Monkey. I wonder if maybe something around there will be uncovered at some point. What's in here? Fish. Yeah, it looks like they were eating lots of fish. <laughs> this place seems to Not be... Not much good. else to eat. <laughs> yeah, this place seems to have gotten waterlogged since they were here. <laughs> I'm assuming this how wasn't... how was. Well, when was that book? The book said 2015. 2015. You think you're from, you say you're from the year 2030, 2030, so 15 years from your time, but then again, we don't know what time we're in here, so it no. could have been even longer than we actually know. Huh, and that witch is freaking me out. <laughs> uh, well, wonder what we do now? I wonder which way they went. Well, I'll definitely keep an eye out for that call sign. Something tells me that whenever one of those appears, we're going to find information. He said he followed the coastline, but he didn't say which way. Yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Because he could have said he went right, but then ended up left, because Pac-Man. Yeah. He could be anywhere, if he's still alive. True. Unless he was cap, what if he was like the pilot and he was captured by the gold monkey? He could have a little hope. He could still be alive. Maybe. Remember, the pilot was captured. The pilot's still not talking. Last I checked, he seems quite traumatized. I don't blame him. And we still don't have Bon Chance back yet. No, I don't think we'll see him again. I'm a little worried. If people start disappearing. Well, oh dear. So, uh, let's put our names in on the book. Uh, just... hello? What the? Who are you? Uh, oh, hello. Uh, I'm Jack. I thought I was the only one here. Uh, How did you get here? I haven't seen anybody new in weeks. Uh, I knew. I didn't realize that there was actually anybody else here. Well, if you look in that book that you have in your hand, there's quite a few of us. Last stop before the wilds. Huh. Oh. Uh. Okay. Oh, I see. Wow, that's a lot of people. Yeah, uh, how did you get here and why are you here? Because everyone around here seems to have a different story. Ooh, uh, hey, uh, by the way, you do realize that um, there's like this uh, very odd stalkerish text at the back yeah, of the book? Yeah, yeah, that happened a couple of weeks back. At this point, nothing phases us, or it does. It just makes us terrified out of our brains. 
I suggest you huh. go back to wherever you came from. This place has gone loco. Um, right. Well, that's not um, discomforting at all. But, uh, well, I was uh, sent here, I guess you could say, by Bon Chet. You know, you know Bon Chet? No, he went missing. Yeah, I, I know him. He's a good mate of mine. And uh, good old... Uh, Whoever this guy is, he, uh, he's been saying to me, Oi, I have no clue where he is. So, I don't know where he is. Do you? This is going to sound a little nuts. Basically, okay. we are being terrorized, tricked. I don't know what's going on anymore. But basically, he's been taken by a gold monkey. Is what we're thinking. But that doesn't seem logical. But that's supposed to be logical. Everything has to be logical. I'm a scientist. Things should be logical. Nothing here is logical. Um, you should probably not walk on the table. Sorry, I panic. Oh, I'm you know Kamsai, what? By the way. Nice to meet you. I'm Jack, as I think I already told you. But yeah. but I reckon that this gold monkey. Uh, I'm pretty sure. That uh, that this is kind of a bit of a hoax. It's actually someone trying to trick you up because kind of a hard to be a hoax when you've seen the gold monkey, unless it's somebody dressed up like a gold monkey, which is possible, but we're not sure. We're thinking so, it is, but we don't know what's going on anymore. You say that you have seen this golden monkey. Three of us have. Right. Uh-huh. Okay, I may be and a scientist, but I'm not crazy, I swear. Well, let me see here. You, uh, you're you wearing glasses on the top of your head, and they're gold, and you're talking crazy. Plus, you're wearing grey pants. All signs of craziness. I am not crazy. This just happens to be my... Oh, you don't know about that, do you, yet? You're really new here, aren't you? What, what do year mean? do you think it is? Well, uh... Well, I mean, to be honest, I haven't really, uh... Well, let me think. Uh, I really haven't... I didn't bring anything along with me. But last time that I checked, I believe it was... Saturday? Not dates. <laughs> year. Wait, as in, like... Oh, okay. Well, uh, in that case, we think, uh, ooh. I believe, ooh, was it 19, 20, mm, was it 1930? Well, it was 1928, the last time I checked. Yep. You don't know about this, do you? Let me explain a few things about this place to you. Basically, every person here is from a different time period. The reason I look so strange to you, I'm from the year 3018. 3018. Okay, well now you definitely... What the heck is that? Someone That's a, that, that would be a drowned. Just give me a second. I can, I can handle this. Um... You say yourself a scientist. Yes. Yet you are wearing a blood-stained shirt, have grey pants, purple shoes, wearing crazy glasses on your head, have a, have a bloody a knife. Dodgy. Okay, so first off, the symbol on my shirt is actually the symbol of my company, Redstone Inc. Second off... Company? The yeah, I was sent here by my company to research the next-gen command block. Uh, what? Next-gen command block. Those didn't exist in the 1930s or 20s. Um, like I said, okay. I'm from the future. Yeah, mm-hmm. Sure thing, mate. I'm just gonna... You, you know what I'm gonna do, right? Ask I'm... anybody else around here, they're going to tell you the same thing. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm just going to have a little chat to um, 
good old, good old, um, okay, uh, I'm gonna just gonna have a little good old chat to him, yeah, and, uh, you can just, um, you can just stand over there for a second. <sighs> Somebody else? Believe me. What are you doing, Mike? Won't you let your head to a bar? We don't mount you with like grab, grab like the glass bottle and smash it over your head. You know I can hear you. Uh, how about you, um, <clears throat> um, look, I'm just gonna... You know what, I'll head back over to where I'm stationed at my research base. If you need anything, I'm over by the ocean, about 700 blocks in that direction, or simply just take the rail system and you'll get there. And come talk to me when you finally believe me and you talk to everybody else around here. I'm yeah, just warning uh -huh. you, beware of the gold monkey. He's not something to be messed with. Hey, um, if you see, uh, some guys walking up to your store and, um, and they are like, Watch out behind you. you know. well, what? What the? This place is the crawling with, with zombies and spiders, and none of it's logical whatsoever, but we've just gotten used to this. Zombies and spiders? You just saw them. Well, I saw a giant spider, and I saw a green... Behind you, spiders. <laughs> Those... Those spiders are surely big, that's for sure, but... Then there's uh, zombies, well, that's at least what we're calling them, the green creatures. And then there's the green creatures with the explosive personalities, the skeletal creatures, and let's not even talk about the creatures that attack you if you don't sleep. Uh-huh. Creatures that don't attack you when you're asleep. Creatures oh. that attack you if you do not sleep. They're basically manifestations of your nightmares, also known as phantoms. The heck is this? Behind you. Green guy. Explosive. Explosive. Right. Yes, I'm very sure that you're right about that. Um, look, this guy is a bit menacing. Hey, mate, how about you just take a step back and, uh, and you tell watch me out. who on earth... Watch out, watch out. Whoa, what the... You have a bow as well? Uh, yeah. You need protection when you're out here. Actually, I probably should put my armor back on. Things get a little nuts yeah. around here. Uh, right. Uh-huh. Do okay. you have any food on you? Did you need some food? I do not need anything from you, thank you. Uh, look, Spider. let me just, uh... Let me just, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? While you keep... Doing that, I'm going to, uh, to talk to some people, and if some uniformed people come up to your house, do not resist them, yeah? Just, like, shake their Did heads Did Chance tell you anything? Um, well, uh... I would get inside if I were you. To the butt. Um, well, he did tell me a bit about how we had a bar. That's about it. So he didn't tell you anything about the gold monkey or any of us? Well, uh, I'm, I'm here to hunt this gold monkey. Yet you're oh. saying I'm crazy for saying a gold monkey exists. Well, I was just about to ask, what breed is this supposed gold monkey? Say that again? What breed is this uh, gold monkey? It's a monkey the size of a human. He's about as tall as you. Did you say a monkey the size of a human? Yes, and I'm not the only one who's seen him. <sighs> you think I'm a good price on me for you? All right. Well, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just going to. Uh, Fine. To, uh, I'm just warning you. Trust me. You're gonna find out sooner or later. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm um. I'm sure about that, mate. But just, um... I'm highly sure about that. Watch where you point that thing, yeah? Sorry. Of, uh... Would you rather have him explode? Uh-huh. Explode. Yep. Yep. I'm just going to, Baby um... zombie. A baby... Yeah, mm -hmm. You know what? I'm... For now, I'm just going to have a little chat to, um... 
to uh, our good old friend over there. Yeah, you're being and swarmed. Being swarmed? Okay. Yeah, behind you. Lots of zombies. Whoa, what is that thing? Holy oh crap. Oh gosh, not this thing again. Ugh. What is that? What is what thing? That... Those... That small green thing. And there's people in here. Told you, zombies. Yeah, okay. I still do not know exactly what they are, so... Basically undead what? creatures. We don't know how it works. None of this makes sense. Apparently to some people that makes sense, because in their worlds that happens, but where I come from? No. As in undead, so as in people that are not dead? Yeah, exactly. They're not exactly, so, they're, they're undead, meaning they're dead, but they're no longer dead. I don't really want to try to explain it. Scientifically speaking, it makes no sense to me. As in they've come back to life. Yes. What? I know this place is sounding crazier and crazier, but this place is nuts. People have gone missing. Apparently there is a... People are forgetting things. People apparently were sent here before me, and I can't remember who they are. You can't have the other people around here remember anything anymore. Uh-huh. Right. Well, uh... And I can prove all this. Uh, look. I'm thrilled to bits to know that you have lots of friends. But, um, have you ever considered the fact, uh, because you say 30-something or other, do you happen to have, uh, people to talk to? To, uh... This is what I meant, phantoms. What was that? Phantom. Phantom? I told you. <laughs> told you bird-like creatures that attack you if you don't sleep. Get inside! Get inside! Get inside! Trust me, they'll burn up in the daylight. You could just go inside, they'll burn up in the daylight. They attack you if you don't sleep. Well, right now they burn in daylight, though. They drop phantom membranes, which can be used to make chemistry concoctions that allow you to fall slower. Chemistry? Also, they are also used to make, also to repair these. You know. Gliders. Right. Um, can't say that I do, but um, this place is now got <coughs> uh, flying blue things. I told you. Phantoms. Right. Um, That's what we scientifically have dubbed them at this point. Because every single one uh, of us has been attacked by them. Every single one of us. Do uh, I, I just have a question. Yes. Do you have someone to talk to? Yeah. I hang out usually with Kaylin. She lives back that way. She's not around right now. She's off adventuring. Then there's Ron. Uh, then there's also yeah. King Rogue. He lives out closer to me. Thelonious lives out that way. Hawk Miner kind of vanished. And then Steadle Fire no. lives nearby as well. Uh huh. We all usually try to meet at the bar when we can, just to hang out and figure out what in the world's going on. Because all of us have been brought here from different times and are different pretenses, and all of us are just trying to get back home in one piece at this point. Yeah. Um. Okay. So that's great that you have all of your friends, but do you have anyone that's um? Well, they're you know. real. I know what you're thinking. I can prove to uh, you they're real. I, their bases are all over the place. They live around here. I see. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to, um... Uh... I'm just going to go this way. And well, I'm going to take my boat back to my base, because apparently you're not going to believe me until you run into the people I've just said. So, I wish you the best of luck, Sir Jack, but apparently you don't want to heed my warning. If you need anything, I'm over by the ocean. Just follow the river. It leads to the ocean, and then take a right, and keep following till you reach the beached boat. Um, okay. Holy crap, nuts so over there. 